It has been more than two years now since her husband was found dead in their Blooming Prairie home. And today Lois Reese admits she killed him, pleading guilty in Dodge County and accepting a life sentence without parole. Our Alex Tejada joins us live from where the sentencing took place, which was not at the Dodge County Courthouse as usual. Alex. That's right, Tom Caitlin. The pretrial was held here at Cass and Manorville's Performing Arts Center due to social distancing concerns. Already convicted of the murder of Pam Hutchinson in Florida just after her husband David's murder, Reese was extradited to Minnesota last month. At the time, she entered a not guilty plea and has been held in the Steele County Jail since. But today, she pled guilty for the first degree murder of her husband in 2018. She also accepted the sentencing of life in prison without possibility of parole. Reese described today how she and her husband had been arguing after their grandson's basketball game that day in 2018. The argument led to David handing her his gun and telling her to kill herself. Instead, Lois fired the 22 caliber gun into her husband's heart. David Reese's family, as well as the couple's children, addressed their mother today. Reese's son stated, quote, what you did was selfish and left us with a mess. He added that while he is forever grateful for his upbringing, it will take a lot for him to ever see his mother again. Lois's daughter stated that she forgives her mother and added that the death of her father was the result of Lois's neglected mental health issues. Lois herself then read a statement saying she feels as if she deserves her punishment of life in prison and she apologizes to her husband's family and friends. She concluded by stating her children are her biggest accomplishment and they possess the best traits of their father, David. After receiving her sentence, Lois hugged her attorney, gave one last look at her children, and was led away in police custody. As part of the deal to extradite Lois from Florida, she will serve her life sentence here in Minnesota. Reporting live in Casson, Alex Tejada, KTDC News. Okay, thank you, Alex.